Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the epfl.ch. It's a website for a European polytechnic university. They do a lot of great work. I'm not going to try and pronounce their name right there. It'll just insult many cultures, I'm sure. But anyway, an effective and low-cost solution for storing solar energy. Now, those that follow alternative energy know that hydrogen, using solar energy to create hydrogen through electrolysis, can be a great way to store energy, but there's problems. Namely, it's not very efficient, and it usually requires expensive rare metals to use for anodes and cathodes to for the separation process. See, they take water and separate the oxygen and hydrogen out of it with electricity. Well, this study used a specifically designed solar panel for this purpose, so it has a little higher voltage to have better efficiency, and it used electrodes that are made out of common metals. They don't really mention the metals here, but I've heard of uh, nickel and uh, cobalt, which is somewhat rare, but there's all sorts of other ones. Uh, tin, I've heard, is a combination with other metals in an alloy. But anyway, you can read more about it in the link in the description. But I, this could be a good breakthrough because the one thing holding back alternative energy are storage solutions, batteries, or hydrogen, or even using water, pumping water into a reservoir and then draining it over a generator. Hydrogen can be stored in a compressed cylinder and then burned whenever you need electricity in a generator. So this could be one of the many solutions that will help supplement battery technology, if you will, as it gets more and more efficient. Well, you know what? Again, you can read more about it in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.